It is the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul, and Pope Francis used the occasion to explain how God can help us even in our weaknesses. E facciamo qualche domanda a partire dalla roccia, dalla pietra e dal sasso. In a special address at the Vatican, the Holy Father says St. Peter could be as solid as a rock, yet when he denied our Lord, he was as weak as a pebble. Pope Francis adds that it just shows that Peter and Paul had faults and weaknesses, and even two giants of the church have traits which every Christian can identify with. Well, finally tonight, the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul is about more than just their lives. It also honors their martyrdom. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Every year, on the 29th of June, the city of Rome celebrates its patron saints, St. Peter and St. Paul. A liturgical feast in honor of the martyrdom of the two holy apostles. A martyrdom they suffered in 64, when Emperor Nero accused Christians of being responsible for the fire that devastated Rome. The emperor's accusation led to a harsh persecution of Christians. Some of them were clothed in the skins of wild animals and fed to the dogs. Others were crucified or even turned into human torches to be lit after dark. And it was in this terrible scenario that Saints Peter and Paul were condemned to death. St. Paul, who was a Roman citizen, was beheaded. Led in chains under the escort of three soldiers, St. Paul was condemned to death at Aqua Salvia, three miles from the city of Rome, today the site of the Three Fountains Abbey. The Abbey's name comes from the memory of this 13th apostle. According to an ancient tradition, at the moment of his beheading, St. Paul's head fell to the ground and bounced three times, each time giving rise to a spring of water. This is now made visible by three small shrines in the Church of St. Paul at the Three Fountains. The martyrdom suffered by St. Peter was different. According to a well-established tradition, St. Peter did not consider himself worthy to undergo the same death as Christ. Therefore, he had himself crucified upside down. This happened in the vicinity of where St. Peter's Basilica stands today, in the Circus of Caligula. We still have a silent witness of this event, the obelisk that stands in the middle of the square. An obelisk that arrived in Rome from Egypt in the year 40. At the command of Emperor Caligula, it was to be erected in the middle of his circus, which stood to the left of today's St. Peter's Basilica. Only in 1586, under the pontificate of Pope Sixtus V, was this obelisk moved to the center of the square by architect Domenica Fontana. The Feast of Saints Peter and Paul, which originated in the first Christian communities in memory of their martyrdom and the veneration of the relics of the two apostles, is still solemnly celebrated today. After almost 2,000 years, the city of Rome still pays homage to the saints by laying out carpets of flowers in the small square in front of St. Peter's. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser and Matteo Chaffee, EWTN News Nightly.